Hey guys, Public here today, and welcome back to Cities Skyline Season 3. We are finally back in the city, uh, and yeah, all the mods are working. It's been a while because, you know, the game had a new patch, or a new DLC, Snowfall, all the mods broke, they all had to be updated, and now we're finally in a state where we can mostly go ahead and keep playing again. Most things are working. Uh, one thing that wasn't working was all the roads we had going around the city, so for some reason, if we use these four-lane roads with the painted median strip, uh, that happens. Uh, but as soon as you get rid of those roads, everything is fine. So I don't know what that is, but, uh, you know, easy fix. Just don't use them. Uh, problem solved. So there we go. Um, yeah, we got a nice little city going on here. So, uh, before I get into any suggestions in that that we had from the last episode in the comments, I think, I mean, we have the perfect setup. We have tunnels that connect directly to the highway that run through the city. And there's no reason why we shouldn't and uh, like connect these somewhere else in the city so you'd have like a tunnel entrance from somewhere further down the city that makes sense i kind of did one just here but i don't know if i want to keep that because it's kind of just clo really close to where it already was you can see it just goes like that i was just testing it because we had a lot of people lining up here just to turn left um but i think that's not a bad idea i might just keep that one uh but for example we have a lot of people entering the city and you can see a lot of them are trying to turn left uh that guy's just trying to go forward uh where are these guys? i don't actually want to follow these guys they're going up this way so i oh, know they must be going the next one um but yeah, we have a lot of people coming into the city, so I think it would be good to get... Maybe if we just have one that goes up the middle, maybe connects up here somewhere. Not too far, but, you know, far enough that it would be plausible for them to stay on the highway a little bit longer and uh, not cause too much traffic. So if we can go... I would like it to be a little... Okay, I was trying to get a nice curve out, but it's going to be... It just wants to end up being really sharp. We've got to go under those subway lines there, actually. I totally forgot that those existed. Uh, let's go under. That should be under. No, it's not. Ah, yeah, that one's really low down. Okay. Uh, okay, now I've got to try and remove the subway line on the ground. Uh, hang on. Did I get... Oh, there it is. There's like... No, that's the road! Damn it. There was like one pixel where I could get it. Uh, deleted the road instead. What road was that? Hang on. Can I... Stop being underground. Stop it. Uh, that was a two-way... Oh, two-way. One-way, two-lane road. Uh, which will go like that. Beautiful. Uh, right, so let's go back underground again. And let's get this system working first. Uh, there's a building just building there too. Anyway, let's get rid of that. Right, so this needs to go like this. We go down maybe 21 meters. How's that? Really? 21 is still not an... How low down is that? All right. Attempting to delete it again. Uh, Got to get it like in the angle where I can get it between those two things. Which I don't know that I can. Mm. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I got it. God, I'm good. Right, so that was still not low enough, which is interesting. That subway line must be real far down. 27. If it's lower than that... Yeah, good. I was going to say, I'm going to be real mad. Uh, oh, that's going lower. I want to come back up higher. So we're going to come back up to 9 meters. Uh, we've got to avoid that subway line there. Uh, no, we're intersecting with that, so why don't we just go... 21. Right, so this will go... Maybe if we come up to this road here. So if we go 9 meters. There. Can I get under that? Because if I can connect just there. Space already occupied. What if I just do road anarchy? Hang on. Yeah, what if I just anarchy it there? Will that play nice? I think it will play nice. Hopefully. So that should be a connection from the highway that goes straight down. We don't have traffic report. Uh, anymore, which is unfortunate, but if we see people using it, then that's good. Uh, so that, because, I mean, the problem here is we also have a lot of people trying to turn right, and they seem to only ever want to go in one lane, because these two lanes have the possibility of turning right, so they never want to get in those for some reason. It's really, really annoying. Uh, so they always get in the one outer lane uh, to get over that way. So we might do a uh, little tunnel that goes further down that way, possibly. Uh, so let's see if anyone's using that. So that's an exit, right? So we got to... Yeah, here comes some people. There goes someone. Are they using it? Let's see. Oh, yeah! There they go. Nice. Okay, so there's people using that. So what I might do before that little turn off, I'm actually going to widen it up so you get two lanes. So if people are going forward, they get the forward lane. If they're going left, they get into the left lane there. Uh, those guys are actually just going straight through, which is cool. Um, right, so what I want to do... I want to see if we can get a right-hand lane at some point as well. Uh, so that would actually have to come off here. And then, yeah, so basically we're going to end up with a network of tunnels in this city. Which I guess is kind of cool, because, I mean, it's kind of like New York, right? It's 
tunnels everywhere because that's what they have. They have like you have all your subways, you have your highways, all that kind of good stuff. So this is gonna head down. We'll probably take it into the sort of middle of the city again, kind of like what we did there. Although this might come up a little bit further this way, actually. Let's go back up to nine meters, uh, and then we'll go. Maybe it will come over this way a little bit. Uh, we're gonna have to. No, we won't go up to nine meters. We'll go. Stay down at eight. Oh, hang on. Let me redo this. Let's go from there. Then this will come across like that. Uh, so this needs to go down to 18. And then come across like this. Yeah, here we go. Uh, so that's going to come back up to nine. There we go. So I'm thinking... Uh, oh, that's a dead-end road. That actually might not be a bad idea to come out of a dead-end road. But it's not very main. Like, this road here seems pretty good. So why don't we try to go for that one? So, come like this. Hang on, about to there, actually. And then that would come up there. You know, destroy a few buildings along the way, but that adds a nice little connection so that people can go uh, underground, hopefully avoid uh, sort of lots of traffic above ground. So that one goes down, under, and around. I uh, See, I don't mind using tunnels in a place like this, because it's like in the city, it's like the heart of the, heart of the, uh, the whole area. It makes sense having tunnels there. I don't think, for me, it makes sense having tunnels running throughout uh, all the suburban areas. That doesn't make any sense, but I feel like the downtown area is kind of cool. So we'll see if people start using that, because we have a lot of people turning right, so we'll probably start seeing some, at least some people going down this way and sort of cutting up through here instead. Um... Which should be good. We don't have any entrances to the highway, but I don't know that we need them because it's, we kind of have more traffic coming in than sort of uh, leaving the city. Or like, oh, we have less problems with people trying to leave the city than trying to get into it. Uh, so we have someone going down there now. Uh, so they're going to drive... Oh, so they're switching into that lane and they're actually going up this way, which is pretty cool. So there's some people using it. Um, I'd like to see if there's someone going to use this again. There we go. We've got some people coming down there. I guess as new traffic is generated, they're probably going to start going down that way a bit more. Uh, yeah, so I don't think I've seen anyone use this one yet. Uh, nah. I thought they were going to use it. Uh, now, I haven't done the same on this side just because we don't have the same issue. Because what we have going on uh, is we have this sort of major connection to the rest of the city via this highway. So that's, that's pretty much where all the traffic's coming from. It's coming down that highway and then coming straight into the downtown area of the city. So that's why we have so many people trying to get in this way. Otherwise, it would have all been from this side, but, you know, we got the additional highway. So that's what happened there. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Oh, there you go. There's someone using it. Noise. As long as one person uses it, that's one, per one less person using that way. I mean, what annoys me the most is the fact that they all just pile into one lane. It's like, you guys, you really could use this lane as well. Because you don't, you could turn into these two lanes and go forward. And I did have Traffic Plus Plus enabled, but when it was running, the whole city just, you know, absolutely grinded to a halt. The simulation was so slow, so I was like, alright, let's forget it. But, we have, let's move on. Oh, keyboard stuck down there. Uh, let's move on, because we have a lot of demand. Uh, so I want to start doing some more construction. We do have a lot of space down here as well. So we might actually get some some residential down this way. I think it'd be kind of cool. Uh, we might... Can we get any sort of houses up here if we do like a little uh, alleyway? We can get a... Ooh, not a lot. We get something in there though. What I might do... Go like this. Give it a bit of a, give it a, bit of a curve instead. Uh, so we can get some zoning in there which would be interesting. So that will go like this. Just apartments, uh, not ideal, because it's going to be quite, quite some, quite some small, quite some small buildings. Some small buildings there, if I could, uh, you know, say words. So let's get residential all down this road. I reckon. Do I want to go on this side of the road? I think I may want to go on that side of the road. Or, oh, I mean, I guess we probably should, right? No reason not to. So let's go ahead and do it. What we'll is zone all of that as well? There probably needs to be another road here somewhere. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll just put trees there or something. I don't know. Uh, over here, we've got a lot of unzoned area. Uh, so, why don't we go in this... we got like we got loads of commercial. I don't want to put any more commercial on this island, I don't think. Uh, so, what I might do... I think I'll get some offices on the main road now. So, on this main section of road, we'll get some offices. Yeah, because there's, there's absolutely crap ton of commercial here. I don't want to I don't want to overdo it. Because I think we kind of already have overdone it a little bit. Uh, but anyway, let me... Uh, no, that can be a little office block in there. And these can be offices here as well. So that will satisfy the industrial demand, which will be good. 
Uh, so they'll start building up there. Now, how are we going with all of our services? So, actually, we haven't addressed anything from Snowfall yet. There's a whole bunch of new stuff that we should probably look into. So, with roads, we now have road maintenance, which can actually make our cars drive a little bit faster. So, I think a road maintenance depot would not be a bad idea. And I think we'll put it over by the airport. Or at least one of them over by the airport. So, we'll put that there. Uh, and that will cover that bit of the city. Uh, we're gonna need a lot of these, apparently. I mean, we don't need a lot of them, but I think maybe maybe if we just have the one that covers the city, that would be quite good, at least for now. Uh, we can also uh, provide heating via, like, a boiler station or a geothermal heating plant, uh, if we want to, because right now, uh, heating consumption... This is not a winter map, so it's never gonna get that cold, but, uh, we're using 181 megawatts, uh, heating the city. And we could use these instead, which I think will do it, just because it's something new. Uh, so we'll definitely try it out now. Geothermal. I feel like somewhere in the mountains kind of makes sense because you'd be like, oh, there's some heating stuff up here. Uh, but it's quite far away. Like, it's pretty far away. Maybe if we go do it, like, up here, then it can sort of flow down that way. That'd be kind of cool. All right, let's build a road up to there. Um, so let's go. We'll get out a regional road, or whatever these are called. Uh, so we'll come off... Oh, look how many cars are down here. We'll come off here. Um, maybe we'll come off here. Maybe we'll just come off down here, actually, because we've already got a... This is technically a highway interchange, so I might just use this. And then we'll fill in this area later anyway, so I think what I'll do... For now, it will just be like a highway kind of road. Because uh, later on, I want to fill this in with... Uh, suburbs and all that kind of stuff, I think. So this road will change, but for now, it's going to go up here. Just like this, and it's going to be our connection to our heating plant. Which I think will go up... Actually, what I'll do, I'll bring that down there, and then we'll have a branch that comes up that way, which will be just a regular road, I think. Up there. So we'll put it up here somewhere. Uh, this will go about there. Now, I presume that it needs power. Uh, it also needs some pipe work. So the pipes are going to go... So we'll just take it down the road. Yeah, these pipes are fairly thick. It's going to go around the little road. Eh, we'll follow the road, you know, be nice. Just so we don't make that. I, I just don't want that one person to unsub that uh, was really upset that I wasn't following the roads at one time. Right, so that will join to that. Now I'm going to heat up pretty much this part of the city. I'm not going to heat up all of that because it's kind of ridiculous. We'll do just like the downtown area. Now upgrade. Why is this not upgrading? I'm on the upgrade tool. There we go. So we'll heat up all of this. Like that. And I guess this little section here as well. So it's going to start getting them heated. So then everybody can be happy. There it is. So you've got to make sure all the heat pipes are connected. Otherwise, you won't actually transfer heat. So those should be connected all through there now. Uh, we'll see that activate slowly but surely. Now we pretty much have to upgrade the entire city area as well. But there you go. So they all get hot water on demand from the city. That's pretty cool. Probably not something that you would see in a, a city that isn't, you know... In perpetual winter, but, uh... Well, this, is a, this is a fairly temperate city. It never gets that cold. Like, we're, right now, we're 25 degrees Celsius. That is fairly warm. Like, you don't need city-wide heating for that. Um, but, you know, we're offering it because we're, we're great. We're a great city, you know? We, we like to c take care of our citizens. It's really hard to see which ones I've upgraded and which ones I haven't. I think I've got all of those. I think we're just kind of waiting for it to uh, activate. Uh, down this little area as well, of course... There you go. And then all up this way of the city as well. Of course, we're going to heat. We're going to heat everywhere. We want everybody to have beautiful heated water on demand throughout the city. Uh, so this will come this way. There we go. Look at that. They're, they're loving it. Now, I wonder how... How do I tell if we're heating... If we've got enough heated water in this area? That's what I don't know how to find out. Uh, it's also bloody hard to... Is that... No, that one's not updated. <laughs> upgraded. It's really hard to tell which ones are upgraded here, like when you sort of get into all these grid systems. So I'm going to upgrade all of that, all down there. All around here. And back down. Through there. So we should only see these little sort of corner connections on actual intersections of the pipe. If we see them anywhere else, it's because we haven't upgraded it. I think I've got everywhere now, so that should be the whole downtown area. Which is good, and all over there, and I also will do this little section here. I think we'll do this island, but not over there. So the heated water will transfer 
Heating consumption is 43 megawatts, so not too shabby. Uh, I didn't want to transfer to the other side, but I kind of accidentally did. But anyway, this will travel down here. Back up again. Through there. Through there. And I guess we'll go on that pipe as well. Uh, now, I want to get rid of that because I don't, I don't want it there. Uh, what is this? Why is that in a different category? That's weird. But anyway. Right, so that should actually heat all of that section of the city. Though you have no power, so we probably need to uh, connect you up. So, the best way to go would probably just be to go down this way. So we're going to go... Cross and down, and then I'm going to go like this, and it's just going to run up this way. Sure, that's a work of art. Right, so that should be connected up. That's connected up to water. That should be heating everybody. Everybody should be happy. Uh, heating availability, obviously I know we're not heating everyone, but we're heating at least 80 megawatts, uh, or well, heating with that 80 megawatts. We used to be doing a 300 or so on heating, but it's also because it's probably not as cold right now. But uh, anyway, that's pretty good. Uh, still getting a nice little tail back on the way in, because they're all piling into one bloody lane. Is anyone using uh, my little connection that I put in the city somewhere? There it is. Hello? Oh, yeah, there you go. That guy's using it. He loved it. Oh, there we go. Yes, yeah, there's, there's a few people using it. Uh, not a whole lot. Uh, let's have a look. Hmm. Not as many people as I would like using that anyway. Because I wish I had the traffic report tool working. I think it does work, but I don't have it enabled. Because uh, then we can just kind of see where everyone's trying to go and build roads to sort of help them out with that. But I think we probably have a lot of people here that might, might be actually just coming down to this section. So let's connect this up to the highway. I think we'll connect it up through this road here. So we're going to go use this one. This is actually just going to go... Maybe straight up like this. And this will sort of be... Kind of a grid section of the city. Uh, now, I want this to connect up to the highway. So we're going to go... I guess... My, hmm. This is not going to look good though, is it? Why don't we try and do... I mean, because we'll just end up with something like that again. Why don't we do... A... Road. Running parallel to the highway. And we'll build off of that. So, kind of like what we did in the other part of the city. And I'll just turn off snapping there. Uh, so we're going to get the sort of, I guess, the feeder lane, if you will, that runs up here. And that will join into the highway somewhere. There. And it'll come off of the highway. How about there? Right, so that will be our sort of exit lane, and that will be the one that connects to the road here. Uh, and then we'll do the same on the other side, probably. I mean, what did I do over here? So, Oh, not over there. So over up here, this is where we got real complicated with those feeder feeder lanes, which I really like this. I really like this interchange. That's that's the one I really like. Because it works very well. Um, but yeah, we'll do a similar thing. So why don't we go... First of all, I need to keep it daytime. Yeah, you may have noticed I've got the day-night cycle back on again. Because I totally forgot I had it off for the longest time. Uh, so we're going to get this lane. It's going to run down like that. And then this will just join there. That will join into... Damn it. Is that not going to fit in there? Let's bring that back a little bit. Ah, that's annoying. Let me see if I can make that look a little bit smoother. There and there. There you go. Oh, I got an achievement! Singing in the blank! Singing in the what? You can't see it, but I got an achievement. Uh, yeah, because I, I finally got that mod that <laughs> sort of re-enables achievements because I... I I feel like, oh, it's raining in the game. But hang on, I want to check what the achievement I got was. Uh, oh, you know what? Singing in the rain is because it's raining, idiot. Look at that! Look at that, it's beautiful! Hooray! We have weather. Oh god, look at the road, that's real shiny. Yeah. The the water effect on the road could be a little bit better, but you know, yeah, it's something. Something, so I imagine rain... Does it have an effect on traffic? It might slow it down, I don't know. Oh, there is like, there's a little, uh, you can see little raindrop effects on the road. Fair enough. It's pretty heavy rain. Still really sunny though for rain, but anyway. Uh, back to this. Uh, so we want to go and connect this up now. So this one, we're going to go... Uh, this will come off. Whoops. Hang on, let me turn snapping back on. This will come off like this. That will go there. Then we're going to have an exit lane here somewhere. Actually, why don't we go... 
Because we've got this whole lane there. Why don't we just go... Why don't we just connect this directly up? So can we do an intersection there with traffic lights and everything? So we've got traffic lights there. Um, so that's kind of your exit. And then... That doesn't make any sense, does it? Uh, why don't... <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. No, I'm trying to think of a good way to do this. Because we need it. We obviously need the overpass to get to the other side. So what we need to do is have a loop around like this. Uh, do I have a fight fine and Heights updated? Oh, it totally is. Good. Um, so we're going to go like that. And then like ooh, in there. There we go. Then this is going to go like that. And then this will come back down to that point there. Right, so that will be for people entering here. They can sort of enter onto this road and then it will do like a little U-turn. Also, it'd be good for these guys if they want to do a U-turn. Or it could be disastrous. I don't know. Um, do I want... Wait, hang on. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Clearly, I'm getting confused. So how did I do it here? We had... These feeder lanes that sort of came off of those, and then... I don't know, it's, it's confusing me. Oh wow, look how shiny that mountain is. Also, go back to daytime so I can see. It kind of looks like snow. I know it's not snow, it's just it being shiny with rain, but it definitely looks like snow. And I like that. Um, I don't think I want a U-turn now. I don't want them to be able to U-turn. That's probably not what I want. Um, hmm. I'm going to get rid of those. Alright, so that's kind of what I did in the end. I mean, there was really no point in having those <laughs> these additional lanes here. But I guess it gives the cars uh, more time to sort of speed up. So you don't get that really slow merge point there. Because they merge in much quicker uh, at that angle rather than that angle. So that's kind of nice. Um, and sort of similar thing happening there. But anyway, yeah, that's kind of what I ended up with. I upgraded this road to a larger run. So it had, you know, just has bigger lanes, really. Because they can travel faster on it by default. So that's a little bit nice. But yeah, this will add another way to get into the city going around there. I don't know. I might actually... You know what? No, no, no. I think what I'll do... Get rid of that. Let's actually bring the highway further down this way. Let's make this an actual highway until that intersection. Because I think that's kind of what I want to do. So if we go all the way down to there. All the way down to there. Uh, of course, flip that. Because that, mean, that means they'll just travel faster and maybe be more willing to come in the city this way. I'm wondering if I should... Does it... I don't think it needs to continue any further because there's not really anywhere for it to go. So I think this will be the uh, the end of the highway. Now, how do we do this? Do we want to just connect it to there? I guess so. That's the easy way to do it. The only problem I have with it is without sort of lane modifications, people can do a U-turn there. But I guess they probably won't because I'll probably use that lane to turn right. Oh, unless they all pile and did that lane to turn right. Ooh, that could be interesting. We'll see how we go. Anyway, it just means they can travel a little bit faster down there now. So they can go 100 instead of 60. So... Hopefully they'll they'll start using this a little bit more because uh, it'll it'll just be quicker that section now anyway. I've uh, got a little of abandonment over here. What's going on? Uh, what was the reason for that? No customers. Yeah, I think we kind of overdid it with commercial at some point. Uh, at some point, at most points. Uh, so let's go ahead and start getting in some roads again. I'm thinking we'll get some more cycle lanes because I do like those. Uh, so I think we'll come off of this road here, and this will actually just maybe just dead end there, and then we'll have a few roads. And that sort of run around the back. I don't think I'll connect this through. It'll just kind of go like that. And then this one can go like that. And I might get one up that way. What I might do, we might get some cycle lanes uh, around here. Because that's not a bad idea. And we'll make sure to encourage cycling. Because I'm not sure we might already have that yet. No, we don't have any policies at all. Uh, so I'm going to go... What am I doing? Uh, encourage biking in this district, so that area, and I think we already did it in this one. Yeah, we did. But yeah, so we encourage biking in this one too, so they can sort of jump on their bicycles and ride everywhere. So we got a bike lane. Can this actually go down? It totally can. That's, uh, you know, a little steep for a bike, but <laughs> go for it, I guess. Uh, and then I think I might do a similar thing here. Just get this lane, uh, pull it around. Just to connect up to that uh, that cycle lane there. So, can, you know, to cycle through if you live there or whatever would be very, very handy. Um, but, yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. so actually, when I upgraded all the roads in the city, I use these ones with cycle lanes. So, hopefully we should see a lot of people sort of riding around the city as well, which would be nice. Uh, and I think I'm going to 
smash through that building there. So we'll just join up the cycle lane that way. And we'll start seeing people use those. So what we're going to do, this is all going to be, I think, houses in here. This, at least this area will be houses because by the beach, you'd imagine them being quite expensive. Uh, quite a nice place to live. At least that's what I imagine near the beach. Uh, obviously, this game doesn't actually have sort of wealth brackets in it, per se. They, no, there's no... I don't think there's really any... You just kind of get whatever house you're given, really, in this game. I don't know if I want to put them on the main roads. Especially right by the highway. I don't mind that bit, I think. Not all of it. Maybe up to there. And maybe we'll chuck a park in there or something. That might work. Uh, so let's have a look what parks we have. We do have... Oh, no, I guess we can't use the new parks here because we're not in the snow area, are we? Uh, but we do have... And maybe like a small playground or something we could use just to sort of get around the highway. Just so, just so no one's living like right next door or at least right in that area because I don't think that'd be particularly pleasant. We'll have a little bit of a buffer, maybe a, some tennis courts there just for Zeusy. And then maybe uh, we'll get, I don't know, maybe that'll be it. That'll be all right. It's just some stuff around there. And maybe we'll get some local shops uh, just a little in that area there. Yeah, just as a, again, there's a little bit of a buffer between all the uh, commercial and residential there. Uh, cool. All right, so that will go through there. There's no water in any of these people's homes. Sorry. <laughs> Have not given you any water. Uh, no, I want the regular tool, not the... No, I said I want the regular tool. I'm not trying to upgrade. Stop making... Stop making me upgrade. Fix your bug city skylines. Thanks, buddy. Uh, so that will come down this way. And I can come through there. Uh, that might need some water there. We'll do that. Uh, and this will probably come down here because that does not have any plumbing on it whatsoever. Alright, so that will make them a little bit happier. There's no power over there just yet, but hopefully that will uh, connect up soon. Uh, but we're doing pretty well. I think we should get some uh, more offices. Maybe... I think we have a bunch of room over here somewhere. Really, like We could zone all along there. We could zone... Oh, I don't want to zone the highway bit. Uh, we could zone... Yeah, we zone, look at the waterfront there. looks kind of nice. Um, I think... I feel like we need a lower road here. Just like a small road. Like a really small road. Just sort of running along the water. Because there's a lot of zoning space down here, I think. Uh, not, a, not a huge amount. But there's, there's still more than nothing. So, like, we got all those double square spots there. So, I think we'll definitely use those. Um, so then I think I'll... Take this up there. Hmm. Like this, and then... I don't want to... See, I don't want to... I think I like this, actually. Yes, it's an odd road, but I didn't want to connect it up to that intersection. It seems like it's taking up too much space. Ah, it's kind of interesting having that there. Uh, so down here, I just wanted to do... Well, along this whole area, really. Just more offices. Just in this space here. Um, let's fill that in. That's kind of weird. So in those. Uh, yeah, so just so we can get some more stuff kind of cropping up there. By the airport. How is the airport doing? The airport's doing fantastically well. Uh, so I think, should we, I mean, should we sell in some commercial around the airport? I guess it kind of makes sense. We'll get some more low density just around the place. Just like that. I don't know if I want to, um, I mean, we can even zone these roads really. But I don't know that I want to. I need to download um, parking lot assets. I still haven't done that. That's something that we should probably get. Oh, well. Uh, a bunch of police cars there going to check out all the taxi businesses. Make sure they're not doing any dodgy dealings. I think they're okay. How's my uh, my heating... My boiler station? Oh, what is it? No, it's a heating plant. The geothermal heating plant. Doing well. Good job. Uh, <laughs> good job. Look at the city at night. That is a... That's a thing of beauty. That really is. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Noise. Look at that. That's that's really cool. I, I love the look of the city at night time, actually. Just take a little screenshot. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. I think they only just got power as well. <laughs> I just noticed that. Uh, yeah, anyway, so they do want more commercial, but I feel like the thing is, like, you want more commercial, but do you really want more commercial? Because you seem to be going bankrupt from not having enough people visiting, so whatever. Uh, how are we with services? So nighttime we lose money, but you know, to be expected in this game for some reason. Um, so healthcare is fine. Uh, what about death care? Uh, that's fine. Uh, yeah, because we have like a billion cemeteries over there. That's right. Cemeteries, crematoriums. Uh, saunas, we don't have any of those. Those are new. Kind of weird. 
Uh, very, uh, I believe it's a very Swedish thing, because that's what they were talking about, I think. Uh, fire department. We could probably get one over here. Would not be a bad idea, like an airport fire department. Maybe we'll even just get it there. That will just cover specifically, like, the airport and all that kind of stuff there. Yeah, there you go. Noise. That's good. Um, police coverage is good. School coverage is fine. Because, I mean, they have a school right there, so you, you guys are fine. Uh, what about high school? You're also fine. You've got all that kind of stuff there. there. Then we have the university over here, which is uh, doing quite well. 1,000 students, 1,800 students. Uh, lots of people using the subway by the looks of it. Like, a lot. And I, th I imagine a lot of people using the trains as well. Uh, I think I think everything's going quite well at the moment. Uh, the traffic is not too bad at night time, uh, which is nice. Let's actually have a look. How, how are we going with everything? Uh, it's kind of hard to see the roads now with all the my tunnels everywhere. But yeah, it's just a little bit heavy there. But obviously during the day, we'll probably get a bit more cropping up. But uh, that's to be expected. But I think we'll leave it there for this part. I wanted to keep this one short because kind of, I'm kind of also in the middle of the Snowfall series. So kind of juggling two, two cities at the moment. We might end that one up on maybe part five or something. Just keep it nice and short so we can focus on this one a little bit more. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.